People always look to me for honesty. That's the thing. Honesty. Hi, it's Marcus Giuliano from Aroma Time Bistro. Eric and I are here today tasting Cirque Duvan from Peachy Canyon. Peachy Canyon. Now, Peachy Canyon is known for their Zin Zin Fandel, which I like Zin. Do you like Zin? Red Zin, we're talking. Bro. I put the Zin in, sir. You put the Zin in, sir. Old vines should be 100 years old. Peachy Canyon Cirque Duvan. It's available right now by the glass aroma time. Everything but Zin's in here. Let's tell them the percentages of the blend. Okay. So they know exactly what, what we're it drinking. Is. This is 2006 from Paso Robles, 25% Petite Syrah, 23% Cab Sauv, 19% Merlot, which is a little controversy on that. Yeah, 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 we'll get to that, we'll get to that. 18% Syrah, and 15% Cab Franc. Everything sounds good. I mean, this must have been, they must have had a great year with the Petite Syrah, because normally in a blend, Petite Syrah will never be the highest It'll either be the Cab or the Merlot that'll be the front runner. Now and they, then they'll blend in Petit Syrah, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot, usually. So now, incidentally, they do change the percentage every year. Oh, still, okay. Camus, yeah. um, Ridge Montebello, yeah. always changes always change the blend. Them. The winemaker always changes Ridge the blend. Ridge makes some outstanding Zin blends. Yeah. They really do. Pricey, Hi Hyanuga. Pricey, but worth it. Listen, the Ridge Montebello, I mean, 97. some years are just the classics. We drank the 97 for quite some time. Yeah. I, you were stocked I, on I that. was bulked like five cases. Yeah, you were point. stocked yeah. up on that. I'm officially completely out. Ooh. I just moved my wine cellar because we moved, so I, I see what I have. You see what you have. What finally. I don't have. You know what I did find, not to get off topic, but I found about 10 bottles of 96 Maryvale Profile. Really? Which I haven't tried in years. Only how one much, bottle of 97. How much Rubicon do you have left? I have a few bottles of 95, I have a few bottles of 96, and I still have a decent amount of 97. Beautiful. Oh, and I have some, 90, yeah, the 95 though, the last bottle we drank was bad. Remember? I remember that. It was three years ago though. Yeah, but I remember that. I remember. Bad it you was. dumped it down the drain. Yeah. You opened it up and we dumped it, you dumped it down the that drain. That was before we made red wine vinegar. That would have been some that salad been some, dressing. That some salad dressing. Yeah. But back to Peachy Canyon. They're known for their Zinfandels. I know they have a, about nine Zinfandels out there that they make. Um, we have the west side here at the restaurant. This is a Cirque du which is available by the glass right now here at the restaurant. And, and let me just comment on that, because a lot of times restaurants, they serve by the glass, whatever's on sale, whatever, you know, they could get a package price on. And one thing you've done since you opened, I mean, of course you're cost conscious, you're out of business without being cost conscious, but you literally taste wines and say, what will the people that come to my restaurant enjoy? Right. That's very rare, and people should appreciate that, because... You serve what you know your customers what will my like. customers will like. And that is dynamite. And I think, I mean, from the nose... This is a big wine. But this is something that people are going to love. Because this, it's jammy, it has upfront fruit, but it's not, it's not too sweet. It's not too it sweet. It doesn't hit the back of your throat with acid. I mean, this is a drinking wine. Yeah, but it's a bigger wine. Oh, it's much bigger than, like, if they just order... You know what you usually have, or because some California Merlots can be really over jammy and sweet. I mean, and we think that the little jamminess and sweetness of this is coming from the Merlot. Yeah, I mean, which I, Zinfandels can be that too, that way too sometimes. The newer Zins. So I mean, really, I always like to stick to the old vine Zins because those seem to be. I mean, a lot of those are forty to a hundred year old vines. and they're predictable, and the winemaker knows exactly what he's getting, and. But this is, uh, I mean, there's no, it doesn't hit the back of your throat in a bad way. But, I, you know, to me, I only like Merlots from South America primarily and Italy. We tasted a great Merlot last week. Courtney, are you writing me notes? People are going to love this. She's writing me the time because we've got to get, get Oh, some. Oh, we got, we've been already over time. No, we're not over time. She's just giving me a time update. So... I think people are going to love this. I think the, you know, even though it's the smallest percentage, I definitely taste the Cap Franc okay. coming through, and that's only 15%. Can you taste a little bit of coffee action going on in here? I mean, what, what, what are we tasting? What are we smelling? I'm getting some tobacco. 
I'm getting some blackberries, some prunes. Prunes, absolute yeah. prunes, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked that something from Peachy Canyon wouldn't have some Zinfandel with the blend. I mean, I think if, if they took out the Merlot and put in the Zin, I mean, this would be huge. But what do I know? I don't make wine. I just drink wine. That should be my. I should get a bumper sticker. I don't make wine. I just drink, drink wine. wine. So what is your, really, what do you think about it? It's got a really long. Can I taste this? I liked it. For the price of what we could do with it, I liked it. So now is this like under ten dollars a glass? It's ten a glass. Oh, okay. So it's ten a glass. This is a value for somebody to be able to come in and, and have a glass of this for ten dollars. Absolutely, absolutely. The Peachy Canyon Zin, if we run it by the glass, the West Side would be ten a glass. So, so this is a this is a good opportunity for people to taste. You know, right. a wine of this caliber, right. and, and, and not something taste it like by the glass. By the glass, and not something like one of those big brands you see advertised in the um, front of liquor stores. Now, now, incidentally, they were out of the New York market for over a year. They pulled out of their previous vendor. They skipped the New York market for a full year, and they just got reintroduced into the New York market. They just came back into New York State. Do you know how many cases they're making of this? I stuff? don't know. I asked. I asked when the rep was here. I met with the rep from from the vineyard. Okay. He was here. I asked him. Um, I forgot. I, I I honestly forgot. But it's definitely. I, I love their zins. I, this is a really rich, packed wine. Yeah. There's really a rich, lot going on. There's a lot going wine. on here. If you want something big, something rich. The lot going. On. I, I taste the prunes. I taste the coffee. I I, I taste I taste everything we're talking about in here, and it really coats your mouth. Yes. There's a little bit of tannin, so there's a lot of fruits. It's really concentrated though, and the finish lingers on. I, I thought it'd be a little more alcohol than fourteen five because I, I can taste some of the alcohol in here. I can smell. I can smell some of the alcohol. And if you're making the big mistake of eating meat, this is this is going to complement it perfectly. This, this will complement meat. Yeah. We have those new porterhouse steaks here. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> They're from a local farm right up the road. When it comes to meat, it's it's going to be the best. They're very happy on the farm. They have one bad day on the farm. They're one very happy. One bad day. One bad day. So, Cirque du Vin here at Aroma Time for a limited time basis. Come in and they'll give you a taste before you commit Absolutely. to the glass. Just Absolutely. Just ask for a little taste. Another thing that they're happy to do. Anyone that they're served by the glass, just ask. That's the biggest thing. When, when you go to a restaurant, when you go to a restaurant and you drink wine, especially here, we want you to be happy. We want you to enjoy your glass. We want you to order a second glass. We don't want you to struggle through your first glass and be turned off by it and not want any more. We want you to enjoy that first glass and order a second glass, if that's what you choose. We want you, we want you to enjoy it. And so, a, lot, a lot of people look forward to the glass of wine they're going to have. And, right. And, you know, you want them to have that experience. Exactly. Well, Marcus Giuliano, Erica Farrow, Aroma Time Beast Show. Hoping you have a better palate. Of course. Better palate. Peace out. Cheers.